Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Twas grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieve. How precious did that grace appear! The hour I first. Oh, how precious did that grace appear The hour I first believed Hallelujah! Welcome back to this short Lenten devotional time this morning. Uh, thank you for all your encouragement and support. May God bless you. We've been reading verses that talks about the grace of God, uh, the grace uh, which was given to us through uh, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And uh, we're going to read from Titus chapter 2, verses 11 to 14. Titus chapter 2, verses 11 to 14. For the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright and godly lives in this present age while we wait for the blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Saviour, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all wickedness and to purify for himself a people that are his very own, eager to do what is good. Wow. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for your grace and mercy. Thank you, Lord, for this amazing grace, O oh Father. Thank you, Lord, for the grace that taught our hearts to fear. Thank you for the grace that saved us from all the bondages of sin, O oh Father. Thank you for the grace that washed us away from all of our sins and redeemed us and justified us, O oh Father, through Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Help us to live life that is worthy of that grace and the sacrifice, O oh Father. Help us to live, lead a life that honors the grace and the sacrifice and the blood that was shed on the cross, O oh Father. Yes, Lord, help us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions, O oh Father. And help us to live a life that is self-controlled, that is upright and godly nature, O oh Father. It is very difficult to do on our own strength, but we come into your presence seeking your grace to live life in such a manner. Help us. Give us strength to overcome every temptation that comes in our way, O oh Father. Help us to live for you. Help us to live as a testimony to you, O oh Father. Whatever we do, help us to glorify your name. We pray for the rest of the day, O oh Father. I pray for the rest of the day. I pray that you would bless your people, O oh Father. I pray that let this day be a day of victory. Whatever situation they may be in, O oh Father, I pray a special favor upon them. Especially I pray for the people who are sick. I pray in the name of Jesus, let them be healed in the name of Jesus, O oh Father. I pray oh, people who are stuck in life, people who are facing failures again and again, O oh Father, we pray for, for all of them. Pray that you would redeem them, save them, bless them, uplift them, and help them to live a life that glorifies your name. Thank you, Lord. Help us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.